Hello everyone, this is Cosmin. Welcome back to our uh, how-to section of Livresk. Today's how-to is about uh, how to publish a project. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite simple actually. All you have to do is uh, make a project first. So let me show you my screen and uh, show you how to publish a project. So Basically, you start from the landing page, go to workshop. I have prepared uh, to organizer. I have prepared uh, a demo project here in my resources. So you have folders or resources you can create. Anyway, in my work, I have demo project. Let me open it. Let me close that one. Okay. Um, I have this project, which is actually a template of a system template. Um, and I'll show you how to publish it. So, uh, once you open your, your project, you have here uh, all kind of uh, preferences related to how do you name to, how do you want to name your project, what metadata you can add if you want to publish it uh, online. Um, okay, and all kind of statistics. I'll go one by one. So, in the sections part, you add sections, the contents of your project. The table of contents, you have your um, uh, menu, practically, what, uh, uh, what will be seen in this uh, left menu of your project, so this one, the hamburger. Okay, uh, another thing is preferences. The preferences is where you set your, your colors, uh, the buttons you want to, to see, uh, I don't know, the bars behavior, uh, the buttons uh, available, so all, all of them you can send set them from here. And in the metadata, you add the content that is going to be seen when you publish to Livresk library. It's a special publish. Uh, so here you can add a picture, you can add uh, an, uh, authors, you can add the name of your of your. Um, um, I'll say, let's say, let's, let's change here and say name of my project is uh, add author name, my name. Uh, okay, and here is the table of contents and whatever keyword you want to add. In. Okay, all of this is going to be available when you publish to the best library. Okay, so. Let's get back to our project. On top bar, you have this export button. You have, click on it, export. And here you have, at this moment, four options. One of them is download SCORM package, so, uh, 1.2 version, download SCORM 2004 third version. These are packages used for learning management systems. So if you have um, a Moodle or a Coffee LMS or whatever, and that, system, that learning management system knows the SCORM standard, you can use one of the packages from here. You just click on it, it says download, let's say this one. It says wait for it to package. Okay. Okay, and you get this uh, zip file where you can save it on your computer and pro for, from there you can take it and use it in your elements. Okay, that was the download uh, uh, export option. The one, uh, another option is download this plain HTML package. Uh, this is practically a package that you can use from your USB stick or you can use uh, to, to take it from, uh, from Livresk and put it in your website or whatever uh, online you might have. So this means that you get a package that is uh, no more linked with Livresk in any way. So you, it's for personal use. And also you have this um, uh, published library option, which I'll choose now. And I'll show you what it does. Okay, it says the project has been successfully exported and published to your personal shelf. Uh, you might view it at the following address. So, the personal shelf, it's a, uh, it's a place in our library uh, where you can see your own projects. So, these are the projects you can 
um, you can uh, share with uh, your users, your customers, whatever, uh, but uh, they are only available uh, by link. So if you gave them, give them the link, they will be able to see that. So, so let's copy the link. They will be able to see that content. <laughs> let's click paste. Uh, let's imagine this is a new user. It, it pastes your link, enter, and it gets this open. So you get that project functional. Okay, I'll close this one. Close it. Get back here. Uh, from here, you, you see what I showed you, my project name, my name. So all these are available in my shelf. This is my shelf of the library project. I have many things here. This was the project. My project name. Okay. So, uh, what what else can you do? Let's close this one. So practically, uh, no, no. Let's let, let's focus on a bit. So practically, this is the the way you share your content with your users at this moment. If you don't have your personal website, if you don't have a learning management system, you can still give links to your content to your users. Uh, so by choosing the option from export, publish to library. Okay. And the last one is, as I said, um, it's a zip uh, zip package with all the content of your package. You download plain HTML package, and that will work offline. Let's download it. That will work offline uh, as well as online if you upload it on your server. Okay. This is, let's put it here. It downloaded, so in folder, let's get here, let's unzip it, okay, double click, I click on index HTML, and there you go, I have my project running offline, so see here on the top, it, it runs from my, uh, from my PC, functional, everything functional, as I said, you can take this, put it on your USB stick and use it for whatsoever you might use it or upload it online on your own uh, hosting. So that was it. Thank you so much. Uh, so you have a few uh, uh, publishing options with Livresk uh, and the, the list will get uh, bigger as uh, the development team is working on uh, new features. Uh, thank you so much. Looking forward to see you at uh, our next how-to of Livresk. Bye.